In this video, we're going to use parametric equations to simulate a pendulum within Desmos. So, um, so remember, a, a, um, one period, the time it takes to do one period is given by this. So uh, one swing would be given by this. We're on Earth, so we're going to say gravity is 10. Um, so, so you can move this point anywhere and then, and then it will swing back and forth. So let me, um, let me illustrate it. Uh, hang on. So here you you can make this a draggable uh, a draggable point. So uh, so you can make the angle really small and the pendulum will swing slower. If you move it out a bit, it will swing, it will speed up. So uh, so this is our our task to simulate this. So let's start a new graph. Uh, start a blank graph uh, and then hang on. Jump to here. So the first step is to um, Hang on. So you've got a triangle here. This length here is given by this whole length, which is 10, take away the height, which is b. So this whole length here would be um, would be 10, take away b. This length here would be a, would be a. So um, so the the length of the string l is given by uh, given by this thing squared. So hang on, let me put it down here. L equals um, L squared equals uh, 10 minus B squared plus A squared. So L is the square root of the whole thing. L is the square root of the whole thing. And then the angle here, let's call it um, uh, let's call it C, the angle C. So C equals um, well, this here is 10, so it would be uh, inverse 10, and then uh, the the opposite over the adjacent. The opposite will be a. The adjacent will be um, will be 10 minus b. So so we've got our c. Later on, uh, once we've got our, our angle, later on c will swing back and forth like this. Um, and uh, and what else? Uh, and then later on, what? Well, we know the uh, we know the the length of the string. Well, the length of the string is really a circle of radius l. So our first task is to draw this. Um, well, let's 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 jump to uh, Desmos. So let's put in our point. Um, let's say a comma b, and then add all. So this will give us a point here. We want it to be a draggable point. So let's drag it, and uh, and and then. So, so now it becomes a draggable point. So if you place it here, um, hang on, let me show you this. If um, if you if you have a graph and then you have a, a, a if you drag this point about, so let's, so let's say you're currently three comma two. Um, so so Desmos will assign the number three. We will assign a. We will assign three to the num to the a, and then assign the number two to the b. So later on, if we want to, we can b square it. We can reference a point. So in, in a way, um, decimals will assign 2 to the b and 3 to the uh, to the a and so on. So hang on. So back to this. So we've got our point here. So we know a and b for any given point. So let's um, let's let's put in our, our... Hang on. Oops, let me zoom out. So first we need to... Um, we need to create a sphere of radius L. So let's let's punch in L first. L equals um, square root QRT, and then uh, it was bracket 10, 10 minus B, close bracket, square it, and then it was, uh, what was the other one? A squared plus A squared so we've got the length of the string uh, let's let's punch in our angle we're going to use c to represent our angle c equals inverse 10 so hang on let me think uh, where do i all right let's do inverse 10 so hang on there's there's a function button somewhere um, you you can you can go into functions and then add 10 add arc 10 so wait there where is it Oops. Well, anyway, there's a function somewhere in there. 
well, punching arc 10, um, inverse 10, and then it was, um, it was a divided by, a divided by 10 minus uh, b, and then close it off. So we've got our angle, we've got our length. So now let's draw a sphere of radius, um, of radius L. So to draw a uh, sphere, we've done this before, so I'm expecting you to know this. Uh, normally our sphere would be, sorry, normally our circle would be uh, cos uh, t, comma, uh, sine t, close it off. So uh, so this is part of our circle. We want it to, um, to range from 0 to 2 pi, 2 pi. We've got a circle, we need to change the radius to, to have a length of L. To, to have the length of the string. So L and L. So we've got our circle of radius L. Uh, let me zoom out. So we've got our circle of radius L. Uh, we need to move it up so that um, it's at, z at so that the center is at 0, 10. So um, move 10 up to the, add 10 to the Y component of the circle. So add 10. So now we've moved it, moved it up. So as we as we vary uh, as we vary our point, it will work out the uh, the length of the string, and then it will draw a sphere of radius l, and then it will shift it up by ten. So that will take us to here. So now uh, now let's uh, let's add a particle. Uh, let's add let's get the particle to just move around in circles first. So let's add a, a particle. Because we want to, we, we want the particle to move along the, um, the, the red circle, then we should think about, we should look at the red circle. We should look at the red circle. So copy and paste. V, control V. And then uh, change all the T to, um, to a new variable. Let's call it D. So D would be our, we're going to have a slider D. D, we are going to vary D. We're going to let D scan from zero to whatever. So this is like our time, if you like. Zero to, let's say, um, I'm going to get it to swing uh, four times. So it's uh, eight pi, pi. So hang on. So we, we're just going to create a, a circle. Uh, we, we're going to create a particle that just moves around the circle. So if we, if we press play, it will... Um, it will just move around in, in circles eight times. Uh, sorry, um, four four times. But the thing is, we uh, we want our particle to start at. Um, we want our part currently when when t is zero when when d uh, when d is zero the particle starts here. But we want it to start at the bottom of, of the circle. So the next task is to um, well to get the particle to start at the bottom. So look at the angle. Uh, D, D is our angle here. Um, so sometimes D, when, when I when I communicate with you, sometimes D can represent time. Sometimes D can represent angle. Um, we've done this before. We created a system in such a way that the time coincides with the angle. So I'm going to use the two interchangeably. So hang on. Uh, so now hang on. Let me think. We want the particle to start at the bottom of the uh, of the circle. So look at the angle. D. When the angle is zero, it starts here. So, um, so we want to inject. Um, we want to inject. Hang on, let me illustrate what I'm trying to say. Uh, we've got our, our our circle here. Just imagine this is a so, um, circle at the origin. Normally, we start here, but because I want to inject pi over two, pi over two, pi over two, so that it starts here. Well, if you, so normally the um, normally it's like this. Cos and then sine whatever here, and this represents our angle. So normally we've got a, a d in here, a d in here, but then I want it to, I want to inject uh, three pi, so plus three pi over two, and then plus three pi over two. Remember, these two angles have to be the same. Uh, they, they have to be on par with each other, because if you look at it, let's say, if, if you say this is a three and this is a four, then it won't really work because um, because when when you're talking about one particular point, um, 
the angle here, let's say the angle here is 3, so it must be 3, the height here would also be 3. But then if, if, you have, um, if you have 3 here and then 4 over here, what that means is this. What that means is this, you've got an angle 3 here, and then you've got an angle 4 here. Um, you see, you can't say, oh, the across here is 3, uh, cos of 3, which is this bit here, and then the, the height will be cos of 4. You've got two different angles. The point I'm trying to make here is that this angle must be on par with this. These two must be the same. So let me just jump back to Desmos and just illustrate it. So look at, look at the angle here. At the moment, it's currently D. I want to, so when D is 0, I want to inject, I want to inject um, 3 pi, 3 pi over 2 in there. So I want to inject this much of an angle in, into, uh, into cos, cos of the bubble. And then, uh, and then I've got to do the same on the other side. So, uh, in, so looking at our angle, uh, so I've got, to, I've got to add 3 pi over Two. Okay, so now uh, now it starts uh, at the bottom of the circle. So if we play, press play, okay, so now uh, at least it starts at the bottom of the circle. So um, I will continue in the next video. Okay.